Okay, so you said the reading is Isaiah. Yeah. Okay. Which one? Isaiah 62. Now this is this is what that is this October 1st? No, this is the oh. this is the 30th, no? Is this the last oh, yeah, day of the no, month? you're right. You're absolutely right. Hey, come on now. See, I'm, Let's I'm, not I'm, get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, get ahead <laughs> to tomorrow. Okay, this is September 30th, right? Yeah, the big 30. Okay, so this is Isaiah 60. Rise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. Okay, that's positive. Oh, yeah, oh, definitely. That's the, that's the Old Testament, right? Yes. Because, you know, the Old Testament has a whole lot of stuff in there. They don't use these <laughs> They be beating up on people, and, you know, all the rest of that stuff. So this is a good one. Yeah. Well, you know, Isaiah is sometimes considered the, the greatest of the Old Testament prophets. He, he predicted, uh, you know, 800 years before... Uh, Christ, he predicted uh, he predicted the fall of Jerusalem, the uh, Babylonian captivity, and the return of the remnant of the Jewish people seventy years later. Plus, he predicted the uh, the birth of Christ. So, I mean, it, it's it's clear the predictions are clear, and you wonder, I mean, how could he have predicted that without the Lord's help? How could he have predicted that? Ahead, amazing, and, and they were prophetic. He, they was doing that. It was they were writing it down as he was as was going on, and, you know, Boy. like you know to put the Bible together later. But I mean, you, like remember we talked about uh, Paul wasn't around. You know, he wrote it later, like you know afterwards. But I'm just trying to feel when 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 Isaiah was Isaiah wrote this stuff down, or people did they just people just pass the tales down? Did they oh, talk I think, about? I think Isaiah was. Isaiah actually wrote it down. Okay, he was a writer. Okay. Yeah. We like writers. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. And then uh, we go on to... Uh, here. I'm jumping up to October 1 again. I'm getting ahead of, ahead of myself. Here we are. The Philippians uh, 127. Whatever happens, conduct yourself in the manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. There you go. Hey, well, that's, that's easy. That's that, that goes along with the first one. Yeah, but that's not easy to do. I mean, it's it's easy. It's it's good, but uh, you know, it's not easy to do. I mean, what do you mean it's not easy to do? Uh, it's not easy to do. Uh, oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I, I don't want to interrupt you, but well, remember, what? remember, we remember we try to do, don't close it. We got to do the rest of the stuff. You know. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. You can come. Okay. You want to do the other stuff? Then we can come back to that. Go ahead. What's 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 the? Uh, all right. All right. And then Psalm says, uh, "Endow the king with your justice, O God; the royal son with your righteousness." All right. Endow the, I'm sorry. I said, "Endow the king with your justice, O God." Okay. Endow the king with your justice, and the royal son with your righteousness. And finally, Proverbs for today: Rescue those being led away to death. Hold back the staggering or hold back those staggering towards slaughter okay uh, trying to rescue, save some people I guess save some people yeah now what was the question about um, no you, you you say this is difficult for these things and remember remember I keep on I say this I keep on saying the same thing I say that if Remember, we went to the whole Ten Commandment thing, right? And yep. then, and then uh, Jesus came down and said, "Hey," because everybody would say, "Look, this is difficult. We can't do it." So God said, "Oh, look," came down as Jesus, and then Jesus said, "Oh, you having problems with the Ten Commandments? I tell you what, I got, I got, I got, I got the annotated notes. I got the cliff notes. Got you the know? cliff notes. I, I got, you. I got the, I got the, well, the, the Ten Commandments for dummies for you, right?" Yeah. And he said, "Here we go." Cut it down to two, right? That's what I'm saying. All right, you let me hear them. Let me hear them. No, you I know what I'm got... the whole love God with all your heart, soul, or whatever that thing is, right? Yeah. You know, you revere, and, you know. And, love, and you, what else? Then? And the other one, do unto others as you have them do unto you. Amen. That, yeah. So if you don't want to be stolen from, yeah. then you won't steal. Right, right. Now, what's so hard about that? If you don't want to be lied to, mm. then you won't lie. What's hard about it is we're naturally selfish. We're no, naturally selfish. no, we're not naturally selfish. Oh, yeah, you, okay, then you, then we have a big problem now. You're saying we're naturally selfish, maybe, but, at same, but at the same time, when we naturally, we're not, we, we should be naturally logical. Yeah. Just what I'm trying to say, if 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I, what, I, I see what you're you, saying. You're I mean, saying it's difficult. I'm saying it's not difficult. Okay. Well, maybe you're, maybe you're a more more advanced in your Christian walk than I am. No, I'm not advancing my Christian walk. I'm, I am, I'm, I'm advancing the, in, in what my grandmother told me. That's what I'm advancing. <laughs> no, admittedly, yeah, well, my grandmother look, read I mean, the Bible, if, but look, if, I'm if, advancing uh, my if, lineage. If Christ, if Christ is the one who who came up with the concept of treating others as we would like to be treated, if that if that comes from Christ, well, that makes him uh, not only the greatest prophet in the world, it, it, be, it makes him beyond well, a prophet. No, that, that's that's, hold that's on, from hold, God. Hold, that's on, from hold God. on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's back up a second, right? All right. Christ articulated it. Yeah. Remember, Christ articulated it. He didn't come up with it. He articulated it. Yeah. He said it. That doesn't mean he yeah. came up with it. I'm trying to explain to you. He may come up with it. Just like my, my grandmother articulated it. Yeah. And she... And she uh, uh, lived it, or she, how you say it, she was the example of it. I look at that example. You, if you want to say, well, then, then, then my grandmother was, was Christ-like, like all these other people supposed to be Christ. After, yeah. after Christ articulated it, yes, then everybody yes. that claimed that they are with Christ, just what the thing just said, they're supposed to now do what Christ articulated. Now, my grandmother happened to do that. And because I'm my grandmother's grandson, I do it too. Well, now, what's good. so difficult about that? That's good. That's good. I mean, that's, that's, the, that's isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it, it uh, it's, it's not wonderful. It's what? Okay, it's wonderful. My point is, look. I'm proud of you. Let, 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 you don't have to be proud of me. I'm, I'm doing. I'm. You. you uh, look. Okay, let's. Okay, we we living here in and you living here in St. Louis, you know, before St. Louis, before then there was some I guess there was some 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 natives here and somebody came and beat up on the natives. Well, do you think the natives wanted to beat up upon? So they, they came and, sto and and beat up on the natives and stole their stuff and kicked them out. You think that was that Christ like? And no. those people that did that they they were they were Christians, weren't they? Well, maybe they claimed to be. Well, the point is, well, whether they claim or not, my point is, they stole, they lied, they cheated, and they and they profess to be uh, walkers in the in the shadow of or the, or the, or the light of Christ. Okay. So okay. obviously, if they did, they lied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they lied. At the very least, they lied. We forget yeah. all the stealing. Okay, okay. So they we're, lied. we're together so far. And they and, and, and they got so good. They got so how do you say used to lying. I guess it gave good, good to them, so they kept on lying their way, and, and, and that led to my grandmother. Has nothing my grandmother used to say. My grandmother said, "A liar is a thief, and a thief is a murderer." So they lied, they stole, and then they murdered. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. that, I'm just, I'm just. That's all I'm saying. Okay, forget that part. Let's go to. Okay, you asked me if I didn't see the debates. I, I to tell you the truth, I went to sleep. Okay, I'm really not. I, I, you know. So you got you got to get. So, so what happened? Who? I guess everybody said that you're just some. It's supposed to be some sort of winner, or loser, whatever it is. So what happened? What was what, your interpretation of what happened? Well, I saw a I saw a um, vigorous debate, but I think uh, there was really uh, no clear winner. I, I would have liked to see Donald Trump do better. I didn't think he. I don't think he articulated you use that word right articulate. Yeah, yeah I like that word he, he didn't articulate his positions as well as he could have because he was in the he was in the heat of uh, of, of, of a contest he could have I think he I think he wasn't up to his very top game he didn't articulate his positions as well as he should have okay hold on, hold on. so before you go go back you say we're in the heat of the contest but didn't the moderator uh, pull the heat down well, I mean did, did uh, who's who was moderating Chris Wallace. Chris, that's Mike Wallace's son, right? Uh, Mike Wallace. You know Mike Wallace from the 60 minutes, knock on their door. Okay. If Mike Wallace came and knocked on your door, what would happen? You know you was you did something, you was in trouble, right? Come on now. <laughs> Vaughn, come on now. You know Mike. You you was uh, okay. you, did you watch 60 minutes back in the day? Yeah, I kinda watched a little bit. Yeah. And when he knocked on the door, what happened? Does that mean uh, he, he's gonna interview you about something something he did? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. I used to love that. Was well, that like uh, uh, the guy uh, in, in St. Louis, uh, Elliot Davis, who says uh, you paid for it? Yeah, I liked it. You, you know, you see, you see him on television. No, no, no. no. Oh, well, that's a little different, but 
But when he comes to interview you, you know, you, they should know that they're going to be they're, they're going to be held under a microscope. Well, I'm saying, did, 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 if his son, if that's his, if that's his daddy, then didn't Mike Wallace controlled his he controlled his interviews? What he let them run nilly willy and, and go all emotional? What? You, well, he he had he had trouble um, he had trouble controlling them because they were <laughs> they were in the first place. Uh, Donald Trump was. Uh, he, he was interrupting uh, Joe Biden, and then uh, oh, and, and, in the uh, beginning, yeah, he was supposed to. You know, they were supposed to each get two minutes to talk, and then they then to interact. Oh, that's that's so, that's, a, that's that's what we call a strategy, then. So, oh, he was he wanted to throw him off the game. Yeah, he was trying to throw him off his game, but I think it was um, he was uh, anyway. All in all, I told you, I I'm definitely a, a Trump supporter, but I think he could have. I think he could have done better. I think he well, could what, have what done points? Better. What I what mean, what points could he have done better with? Well, one one is extremely important, and that is, you know, they come came to the point of talking about um, about the election and um, voting by mail. See, voting by mail is fine as long as it is. It's what we call absentee ballots because absentee ballots are requested, then they're delivered, and then they come back. They're they're uh, they're certified and they come back. But the other type is ballots that are sent out without being solicited, and this is the ones that can be problematic. I mean, just sending out thousands, thousands, tens of thousands of ballots. And you don't know where they are. You don't know well, who's getting them. Well, why are they sending out tens of thousands of, of ballots? Nobody request. I don't understand. Because because of the flu. But, flu so supposedly the because of uh, yeah because of uh -huh. COVID. So uh, he didn't. Yeah, but, uh, he uh, didn't. But, he didn't articulate. He has explained it. But he's he's not against absentee ballots. He votes absentee ballot himself. But the other thing is uns unsolicited mass mailing of ballots. And then well, hold, on, hold, hold on, hold on, a hold on, hold on. I'm trying, trying to figure out if you don't. Aren't you supposed to adjust? In other words, if if you have a pandemic, if you have a situation, yeah, should you adjust it? I'm just trying to figure out how could you have an unsolicited ballot? I was assuming the, the, they would send. The, oh, I'm, it's an assumption that they, they, that you look at your election rolls, and then you only you have the address of the people there, and yeah. so you send out to the ballots. You send out the ballots to those people on your election rolls. Is that not true? Yeah, including the dead people on the roll. Well, I don't, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to say you, that's who you, you, you. I'm just saying in a pandemic, yeah, you maybe you do that. But the person then would have to sign or whatever have you and send back or whatever. Now, if a dead person is signing, that's that's that that would be a, uh, one of them Jesus things, you know. But I'm just I'm just trying to figure out how many how many dead people you're going to find that's going to be that, that they're going to send that somebody's going to uh, fake their signature and send them in and if they do send it in, there should there's need a mechanism afterwards to do that. Uh, mechanism afterwards, yeah. That's, that's the thing. The thing is, they won't come in. Uh, they won't come in on time. And this, oh, okay. uh, um, you know, the thing is, if it's a, if it's a close election like in Chicago, the uh, the Democrats, after the election, will find the votes they need. They find the votes they need. They, they suddenly appear from out of nowhere. Well, they, everybody does that. They did that in Florida in 2000. So. The, the, the Republicans found the votes they needed. <laughs> so, so everybody does that. That's not a biggie. Well, let, 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 so what else happened? Well, so, if we, uh, forget the mailing thing, because that's, uh, the, that's uh, all with the post office thing, too. Yeah, so I'm not yeah, getting into okay, that. Yeah. I heard about that. So, it's affecting the mail that I get, right. too, because, you know. Thing, uh, okay. So. Ask uh, Trump about Donald Trump about climate change, and he's. He, I think he could have done a better job explaining that. That, uh, that really, there's no evidence that uh, there's no evidence that carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, by produced by automobiles and industry, is is changing the climate. There's really no evidence for it because it can't be. It can't be tested scientifically. The climate changes all the time. It gets hotter, colder, colder, hotter, and uh, so he. I don't think he articulated that very well. But he said he was. He said he was for clean air, water, and uh, that was. That so was all if good. he's for clean air, that means he's going to do something about the this 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 what they're saying about the cars, right? 
Well, just to some extent, yeah, he should be for clean air and clean water. But why should nothing? Why should we, the United States, you know, with only five percent of the world population, why should we be holding these high standards when none of the rest of the world is? Like he's talking about how India and China are just uh, with uh, burn wood, bulging, uh, uh, you know, okay. they're, they're they're bulging dirt into the air. I think okay, in South Africa we do we do coal and all the rest of that stuff. Well, yeah, because you do. You know why you do? Because that's what you have to work with. You yeah. do what you you, you got to use what you have. Yeah, and, and, uh, and, uh, and we can't they, they can't afford those high standards over there. I mean, uh, really, they they have to work with what they have available. Yeah, they're, they're going to open up the Arctic and all the rest of it to get more, whatever. But let, let me ask you something, though. See, so, again, see, he could, see, he I could have articulated that position oh, better, okay. but, but then again, I wasn't, you know, who am I to criticize? He's in the heat of a debate. I was I was not. It's easy to sit back and look at it and yeah, say, yeah, well, yeah. why didn't he say this and that? Backseat driving, yeah. Uh, now, I understand, but see, I, I, I take this, the position I take on climate change is the same position I take on, 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 on uh, the nuclear bombs, you know, the... the uh, uh, you know the the a bomb and all the rest of that stuff. It's like, oh, if you have if you you know if you if you shoot off one nuclear bomb and somebody else shoots off another, by the time you get to the third or the fourth one, it's all over with. So I don't worry about it. people say, no, we got to sign this peace treaty for for the nuclear bomb so nobody will do that. I go like, I don't worry about that. If one because if it, if it if the, the amount of nuclear bombs that happens right now, uh, what is Pakistan has nuclear weapons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Israel has nuclear weapons. Yeah. Uh, India has nuclear weapons. I guess yeah, Great true. Britain has nuclear weapons. Well, South Africa had it, but they took it away before before the black people took over. But you know, uh, uh, Russia has nuclear weapons. Uh, yeah. Japan, no, Japan doesn't have nuclear weapons, do they? I, I think they're think trying so. to they're trying to get them back. Anyway, people, Korea has no Korea doesn't. South, I don't. Whoever has nuclear weapons, the point North is Korea. Yeah, North Korea has them. No, they don't. They're not. They're not too good at it. But the point well, is, if one or two people, France has nuclear weapons. If one or two people shoot it, then it's all over for the whole planet anyway. So I don't worry about that. If you all, if you all don't want to sign up, I don't worry about that. And so I feel the same way for climate change. If the climate, if people say, oh, this is not real, I'm going like, well, we're probably past the point anyway. So I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about, can I get my Amtrak passenger train to get me from point A to point B? But no, right wait a minute, I, I like that. Suddenly you say something I like. Why, yeah, do, why we, should we worry about things? It ultimately is in the Lord's hands. So why should we no, worry about No, it's not the Lord's hands. It's, we, we, it's, okay, you're right. It's in the Lord's hands now. But it used to be in our hands. But we let we let this thing get away from us. Well, That's my whole thing. I think, uh, I think, uh, I like it. You, let's focus on the Amtrak train. Now we got. No, now no, we're, leave, now leave, leave, no, 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 no. We, let's go back to the debate. We, okay. we do we do the Amtrak train before. All right. That's that's that's, that's an easy one. That's not easy, but that's hard one because we got to get the got to get the politicians to agree. So what else happened in the debate? Okay. Well, well, uh, Joe Biden called uh, President Trump a clown, which I think is not only disrespectful of him <laughs> personally, but disrespectful of the office. Yeah. I, thought, I thought that was disrespectful. He called him a clown. And, and they call him a clown, and then let's see what I just happened. So what happened? Did, 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 <laughs> did Donald, did, 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 uh, did Mr. Trump clown him? Clown him? Did, no, he, did, he, did he clown him? No, he, he President Trump, uh, he, he, uh, he delivered, he, he delivered, he tried to, he tried to make his points, and he was, he was somewhat. Um, no, no. Uh, I'm, I'm asking when, 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 when Joe Biden asked Mr. Trump, or, or when Joe Biden accused, uh, uh, accused Trump of being a clown. What was, what was, uh, the president's, um, what do you say, uh, retort? I love that word too. What was his? Wait, I gotta say that word. I love this word. I got. I've learned this. Word. What was? What was? What was? Donald Trump's retort. To Joe Biden, when he, Joe Biden called him a clown, well, he, he didn't. He didn't seem to make an immediate retort. He just moved on with what he was oh, saying. Oh, okay. He, so he he, he, seemed, he he seemed to take a punch there. Oh, he he he, he ignored my my yeah, grandmother. Seemed, my, seemed my, to, as I recall, he seemed to ignore it. Yeah. Okay, my my sainted grandmother would say, you know, oh, he ignored the ignorant statement. <laughs> Well, she didn't say statement. She used to, she used to say he ignored the ignorant. But that's not the point. I threw that one in there. Okay. So, so, uh, yeah. so yeah. Uh, <laughs> call him a clown. Call him a clown, yeah. Oh, man, that's uh, too bad. See, I hadn't heard that one before. I'd heard him call him a, 
a racist. Oh, oh, I heard him call him a liar, but I never heard him call him a clown. See, now, he's lucky it wasn't me because I would have took out my handkerchief or something like that. I went over to him and I would have hit him like a clown. <laughs> like a, those clowns. Like Larry like, shot well. him with sulfur. <laughs> 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 I would say, I would say, somebody give me a water pistol. <laughs> okay, so what else? What, what else? What, what else happened? It was was it a long debate? Oh yeah, it was ninety minutes. Uh, I guess it was ninety minutes. And uh, let's see. Oh, they they uh, said, uh, uh, of course, Trump has eliminated what they call um, critical. I think they call it critical race theory that's the idea that um, the I think the idea that uh, black people have been systematically mistreated throughout our country throughout the history of our country and therefore essentially uh, the country is no good because of this he's, he's eliminated critical black let's see what did I say oh critical race theory and, Who, who's uh, eliminated that Donald Trump has. He's oh, made it, okay. He said we're not going to teach that anymore. And we're oh, 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 he's, he's eli oh, I see. I, eliminated I mean, the teaching of it. Oh, okay. I, I, that confused me. I said, well, you, I don't think you could necessarily. In fact, one of the books I tell you, I was going to get. Two, I was going to. I'm buying two books this 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 month. Because yeah. you know, I get money at the beginning of the month. So I always yeah. I always try to buy a couple of books. And one book is going to be uh, the guy. You, like, you Greg, like to read like I do. Oh yeah, you yeah. Like but I like to read a whole bunch of different things. Yeah. But one book I'm going to get. You love this book. It's called. If I get it, I'll, I'll show it to you. It's called uh, Greg Palast. I knew. I, I used to record Greg Palast. Uh, it's called uh, How Donald Trump Stole the 2020 Election. That's the name of the book. Now the election hasn't happened yet, so it's just I'm very curious about this. But that's one oh, book. Oh, I but, see. But, it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, but he said how Donald Trump stole the 2020 election, or whatever. I think maybe they said Donald Trump and the Republicans stole the 20. I forget what the number, uh, but yeah. somehow it's in there, right? All right. But the other book I'm getting this book by um, by this great scholar, great great scholar, Dr. Gerald Horn. I also know him. I used to, uh, you know, record him a lot too, and he wrote this book explaining race and where even white supremacy comes from. And how it started. It didn't start with just the Anglo. Well, I guess Anglo, if you say white. But it's how it started. It didn't People think it's just started with the United States. But so way, well, anyway, he goes into this whole thing. Now, his book would be yeah. something, I guess, that Mr. Trump wouldn't want in the classroom because he breaks it down and how, and what racism, where it comes from and everything like that. So, wow. so I'm just asking, is Mr. Trump going to ban books or stop teaching these books in the, in the, in the, in the, in the I don't the, think so. I don't think he's going to ban the books. He's, but he's going to he's going to stop the required teaching of it. Yeah. This probably, this probably your wife telling you to come inside. Scam likely. Oh, scam likely. Oh, scam. Yes, yeah, scam. He calls me all the time. Yeah, yeah. I get that too. So I do that. I knock that out. Okay, so so, but it's not going to be a part of some curriculum because you right no. now the textbooks are made yeah. by a couple of people yeah. anyway. Okay. So okay. So anyway, but but uh, but. When uh, Chris Wallace brought the question up, he said, "So you you have you have banned the the teaching of uh, racial sensitivity. Well, it has nothing to do with racial sensitivity. I'd never heard it put in that in that frame uh, in that frame before. In other words, the um, as I understand it, the critical race theory is not about racial sensitivity. It's about a fundamental uh, systemic injustice that exists within the United States. It's not about uh, sensitivity. So I thought that was strange. He put the question in a, in a way that I'd never heard it. Uh, My, Mike, Wallace is, Mike Wallace's son, the, the Chris guy. Chris, I think, yeah, Chris, Chris Wallace. Okay. Yeah. I just remember Mike, Mike Wallace. This Chris guy. I mean, I'm, you know, the, 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 youngster, the, 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 the youngsters, man. You know, I'm really into, I didn't watch a lot of TV. Okay, the, the, well, anyway. I never believed the youngsters, especially, especially. Especially if your if your father did something, and then you come yeah. on your on your father's name. Nah, I, I leave them people alone. Okay, so so the critical race. I don't want to say so. Critical race, race theory. theory. Okay, so, but then he said something about sensitivity. Yeah, um, he said sensitivity training, which is really different. I mean, uh, you know, how can how can uh, it's not it's not quite the same as sensitivity training. Okay, I mean, well, sensitivity training is like some. I'm, I'm going to say something so I don't hurt your feelings. Yeah, I mean, this is he, they're talking about something much deeper, deeper than yeah. that. But Mike, but my, I'm sorry, Chris Wallace, Mike's son, 
He 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 threw he, he threw this thing in there. See, this is why these guys. I don't understand. If you are supposed to be a, a, a interviewer, you know you're not supposed to be. I mean, we we having a conversation. That's different. Yeah. But if you interview, then you don't be throwing your stuff in there. You, yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm having a conversation. I can say whatever I want. I could say yeah. my opinion like that. But if I was interviewing you, yeah, yeah. about whatever, I yeah. can't be saying. And you know. Uh, your sensitivity. No, yeah. wait a second. Hold on. That's not the. There's no question. Don't say nothing about no sensitivity. What's yeah. going on? Well, you know what, what President Trump said to him. He said, he said, hey, I think he, his response was, am I, am I debating you oh. or, or Joe Biden? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He said, he that's, said that. that's what I'm saying. He okay. said that. That's that was one. good. That was good. That was, that was one good. Thing Got he a little said. zing in there. Bing. Okay. Said, am, I, am I debating you? Or, uh, oh, or Joe that's, Biden. that says a whole lot because you know right now the accusation is that Donald Trump, his his enemies are not just uh, 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 the not enemies, well, well, not, yeah, enemies are not it, just the it, Democrats, but also the the the, the media. The media yeah. Except for I guess even Fox News, they say sometimes goes over to the other side. Anyway, yeah, but yeah. the point is, yeah. so it, that 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 must have. That bears something out, I suppose. That, I, I think it, he got a, he got a point there. I give him a point for that. Just okay, so what? So, so what? Else, let me put. Okay, what? So what else happened? So what else happened? What? Are, what? Are, what are the fine points that we have to go over? Fine points. Let me see. Let me see what else we got to. Oh, oh yeah. Then the, they. Uh, Trump was essentially saying that Joe Biden would be controlled by nameless uh, leftists and that he's already uh, he's already agreed to what he called a manifesto of, of uh, radical changes due for climate change the Green New Deal all of that and uh, so Biden is saying no he said I haven't I haven't agreed to that and uh, and so and, and Biden is talking about how this how making these changes would uh, Provide new jobs, but uh, wow, they would, they, uh, that's that is totally. Uh, he said, you know, I mean, if it, it is a huge difference. I mean, the extreme of the Green New Deal would be, you know, ending ending gasoline powered cars and changing all the retrofitting all the buildings and making no more airplanes. I mean, the extreme end of it is is crazy and. Uh, so they were well, Trump was Trump was trying to tie him to that and uh, Biden was denying it. Okay. He, he, well, yeah. There you go. But, but did they did they talk about this whole police brutality or anything? Oh, yeah. the police, oh, yeah. What did they say about that? That's what I want to know. Okay, they said uh, Trump was saying he was in favor of law and order and then all the police organizations said and endorsed him, and then, okay. uh, and then Biden, he said Biden won't even say law and order, and he does, he does. I've seen. But, but, but what did Biden say that when he said that? What did Biden say? I don't care what Biden. Right, what Biden, Biden was saying that you know he was going to uh, bring uh, uh, social, uh, you know, there should be social workers in and, and things like that, and uh, you know, you know his uh, his answer to me is his answer to me is not good. I mean, you Biden need, actually said that he was bringing social workers in. I, I think in the debate, think, that's what he said. That was his answer. No, I think he he, he said it, was, it took more than just you know. He said there needed to be police reform, and then uh, you know they could be, uh, but uh, he. Uh, I think he. I think he said, if I'm not mistaken, that that uh, other aspects should be included. Well, he said he was not against. He denied that he was against defunding the police, and uh, it was. Yeah, well, he, it, he, it was he, an interesting. No, he he actually said he was going to give the police more money. Last I looked, that's well, what I that's what I saw. That's well, what I, I mean, when they, I read, should, that's what I read. Get, they should get more money. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what he said. So that's 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 well, okay. So that's what the police things. They, 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 oh, and then of course, uh, and of course, Trump brought up how uh, you know the uh, police bill, which. Uh, Biden had passed, I think, in '94. Ended up putting uh, many more black people in prison than ever before. And, uh, I mean, the, I, I, people say, I, I, I skip away. I say the downtrodden, but yeah, 
Yeah, they, that's true. They put they, they, well. That's what he did, and he championed it. Yeah. He, he he was very proud of that. Yeah. So, so, so anyway, what, yeah, so what Trump, happened? Trump made that point. And, and what, did, what did what did what did what did Biden say about that? Biden he didn't say much of anything about it. What could he say? He ignored that oh, one. Oh, 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 here's oh, another oh. thing. Oh. And uh, Trump got into the fact that uh, <clears throat> that the uh, wife of the mayor of Moscow has given. Uh, Hunter Biden, uh, three million dollars, and he says, "What now? What about that? You know?" And and Biden, Biden didn't say anything about that. He didn't, he didn't say anything about that. Oh, okay. oh and then they were so saying, they got a little topic then, there, I guess." Then yeah. they were saying, "And uh, President Trump, oh, uh, Chris Wallace asked him, is it true that you've only paid, uh, you know, the two years you only paid seven hundred and fifty dollars in federal taxes?" And I don't know where that came from, but but he said, Trump. He said no. He said I paid I paid millions of dollars in taxes, and he said, and my my taxes are going to be released. They're under they're under audit right now. And he and then he made reference to you know many pages of documents which are I guess in the public domain that could be looked at already before his taxes are released. But but you know naturally he as a businessman he took advantage of. Uh, of tax protections where he can find them. Yeah, like that everyone they, yeah, does. Yeah, like they, everyone does. Because the, those politicians, including Joe Biden, made those laws. Uh, that, said, that, yeah, that, he yeah. mentioned that. And of course, okay. of course he, came, he made the argument that, you know, you say you're going to do these things now. Why have why was none of this done during the 47 years you've been in Congress already? And the, he said, I've done more in three and a half years than you've done in 47. And what did, what, 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 what did Biden say to that? Well, he didn't. But he, but he stayed on the attack. He okay. Him, you know. Well, look, I, this is exhausted. I had enough of this anyway. I gotta go. I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for. I have a, I have a, pl a breakfast plan. I have a breakfast plan. But here's what I want to know. I hope, I hope I haven't upset, upset you with my rendition of it. No, I'm, 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 I'm being, I'm being what. What's his name? Chris Wallace? Yeah. I'm being what Chris Wallace wasn't. I'm just trying to get the facts. All right. I'm not All right. trying, I'm trying to, I'm not trying. I'm trying to, I'm trying to the, recall I'm, them. I'm, I'm no, giving you with, with my, I'm the, with my, uh, my you memory. Could, you, you could be wrong. I'm not even going to fact check. Did, did they fact check these things? They, 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 well, they, they can't fact, fact check them right while it's going on. But yeah, they, they said they had fact checkers. But, I mean, you, the debate was, you know, it was, it was it moved forward. Okay. It was, well, it was kind of a, it was a rough debate. It was kind of like a... Uh, that's, that's what I want to know. Like a, I want to know. It was kind of like a street fight, but, but uh, a verbal street fight. You know, they, a, they, say, they say MMA. That's the new... Whenever they have a fight now, they say MMA. So, some sort of wrestling kind of people, you know, people get in a cage and they beat up on each other. Yeah. But, but, but okay, so that's my that's my that's that's my, my final question. That's my I'm a reporter now. I'm like I'm I'm I'm, I'm Wallace's cousin. Okay. <laughs> I'm the okay. Wallace cousin. I'm the I'm the I'm the forgive the term. I'm the black sheep of the Wallace family. Here's what I want to know. <laughs> what 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 was your what was your uh, what was your overall impression? You know, was was it entertaining to you? Was it I mean, what was your overall impression of the of this of of the debate. Well, I think it was extremely interesting. And uh, wait a second, interesting is not a good word. <laughs> interesting. Okay. Entertaining. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, that was I'm me. I'm sure sorry. I, I, I interject. I, I did the Chris Wallace thing. I'm sorry. I didn't mean. To, I didn't mean to do that. Let's strike all that stuff. Go ahead. You can do your words. You want to say in in interesting, but how interesting? What do you mean by interesting? Well, I think that uh, it gives a it gives us a much closer look at both candidates to mm. see how they can ha how they can uh, handle a ninety minute a ninety minute uh, contest under pressure, mm. dealing with some of the issues that are extremely important to our nation and our future yeah so I thought they uh, I thought it was interesting and I mean they were well, important to them important to to, 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 to all to, of us to, not to all of us I, t I told you before climate change is not important to me uh, what, else, what else you say the uh, the, yeah. the well the police thing is important to me uh, but but I, I'm on the side of like I say I say disarm the police I don't, I don't want them defunded I want them disarmed that's well, what I want yeah, well, yeah. I, I, I respectfully disagree with you. Uh, Excuse me, hold on a second. What do you mean you're speaking of disarm the police? 
No, disarm the police. How can they be police if they don't have any arms? No, no. I said dis. Okay, maybe I should say de-escalate the arms they got from Joe Biden and 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 and, and Barack Obama. And I guess some maybe it started okay. with with W. When I say disarm, I mean. There's no reason for a little police force in, 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 in some little town to have a tank running no. down their street. No, I, I, I hear you. I hear you. Come on now. So I'm saying, I, I'm just, when I say disarm, I mean like that. I don't mean you don't take oh, okay. away somebody's the oh. policeman's gun. I mean, oh, okay, you just okay. like trying to disarm. You, I'm, I'm, you know, you, you live in this. Don't you all have some, I'm not a, I'm not a, a, a gun person, but don't you all have, can't you all have guns in your house? Can't you protect oh, your yeah. house? Oh, yeah. Like that guy tried to like like the woman that got shot six times and, and and by the police who came in there blazing with all this with all this firepower and her boyfriend just had one gun and he shot the, he he shot the gun to because they didn't know what was going on and all these police coming in and, and shot up the place that's that when I say disarm that's what I mean by disarm the police what they use all that firepower for come from one naked woman the woman was naked she had no clothes on. Oh please! I heard about it. Like I said, dude, that's that's my issue. But they, they didn't they didn't they didn't, they didn't address that. If they if they said def, they defund the police, that means they didn't they didn't do my issue. My issue is disarm the police from the arms that they have that they got from Joe Biden. That's what I would have said if I was Mr. Oh, Trump. Okay, well that's that's, that's, really, that's my really thing. Now that you explain it, that's that's a that's a different issue than I. I that's not but the they way don't I bring it up. But they don't bring no, it up. No, no. And I think, but I think, I think that the police. Have, in order to do their job, they have to have um, they have to have better equipment than the criminals. Uh, I mean, have look, have, I don't look. Like I said, I'm not worried. About, I'm, I said okay. what I said about the police. I don't okay. want to do with, okay. the, with the police business. Okay. The whole thing of it, like I said, I'm not interested in climate change because I think it's it's past it's past. The thing is going to happen. It's going to happen. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. Well, I'm, gonna happen. I'm, I'm not, not interested, interested in, in climate change because I don't believe it's a. Uh, I believe it's a scare issue, not a not a real issue. Okay, so we we, we have two different we have two different uh, things that means the same that that come to the same conclusion. Yeah. I don't I'm not worried about yeah. Medicare for all. Why? Because I got Medicare for all because I'm a vet. I'm in I'm in the I'm in the, uh, I'm in the VA system. So yeah. well, yeah. bother, that's not my issue. My, okay, my so I don't worry about I, it. I can say my wife and I we have uh, my wife doesn't have it yet, but I have Medicare, so I'm glad to have it. But well, there you go. Yeah. So and the, I don't want it. I don't want it taken away. Well, there you yeah, go. Well, yeah. that was, hey, that means you got a, you got a socialist program right there. Sorry to tell you. Anyway, well, well to some extent it is. Yes, I'm, well, I'm, some extent it, that's what it is. Okay, so we're not worried about that. <laughs> I'm not worried about what's the other thing I said I wasn't socialist worried about. Socialist program. Uh, well, I guess it is. Well, well I mean, so, it's, maybe it's social security is. Well, social security. That's in the name. What's the what's, what's, what's the thing I'm not worried about? Oh, the nuclear stuff I'm not worried about yeah. because I know as soon as one or two do, then it's all over for everybody. So I don't worry about that. I don't, that's yeah. not my issue. So they can yeah. say that all yeah. they want. What else? Yeah. So, I, so, so my only issue that they didn't, they didn't, it's, it's, it's yeah, it's transportation, yeah. mass transportation. I'm not talking about no airplanes either, and I'm they not talking about the, I'm not talking about the cruise ship even, that they, they bailed out either. I don't you know, need no Anthony, cruise ship. They, they didn't even talk about that, man. They well, didn't even talk well, about your issue. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. My point is, you gave all this money to the cruise industry. They don't even, the cruise industry don't go from, they don't, they don't go, no. How did they do that? What did, why couldn't they take the same money they bail out the cruise industry and give it to, to, to the passenger rail on the ground? I want to know. That's well, the know, answer. I, that's I the think, question I, I would ask. You and I, I think you and I have an area of agreement here. And that is, man. I'm hoping we do. I'm thinking that. We both like Amtrak, and I think that it, it needs a certain amount. I think it needs a certain amount of uh, federal money to make it work. Yeah. Hey, supposed yeah. to, yeah, yeah. but that's yeah. just as public, yeah. whatever. So I think I think we all we all should be willing sure. to do that. Hey, yeah. maybe I should write in. I'm in the, the next one. A, a question. Don't don't let me get mad now because I would say that say, excuse me, you gave all this money to the cruise industry. The water goes around the country. It doesn't go through the country. The big ships can't go down to Mississippi. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So what's going on here? Where's my thing? You know, where's that's like, what I would say. See, as soon as they as soon as they decide to, to bail out and I'm gonna have to say this. As soon as they decide to bail out certain industries with federal money, it's inherently unfair. Because they're picking and choosing the ones they're picking and choosing the winners and losers. I mean, you got a good point. Why didn't they give more money to Amtrak? It's, it's, a, it's a political type of co- decision. Yeah, hey, uh, it's a political increase decision. the cars on the train so people can, you know, more social just Anyway, I got to go because I'm hungry. Right, it's man. late. Hey, what time is it? It's late. Yeah, we're, just, we're just getting started. No, we're always just getting started. Just nah. getting started. Okay. <laughs> I got to go. Thanks for this. Yeah. Thanks for the wrap-up, the, 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 the blow-by-blow. <laughs> well, you know, all I gave you is my...
my uh, my limited capacity to remember it, but uh, I, uh, yeah, it was interesting. It was interesting, and I, I think that uh, it was a it was kind of like a uh, 